What is up YouTube? PPA View back this time with the EK project, not with the Z anymore because it is sold. Please tune in to the last episode to see the car that I bought and <laughs> the car that I sold and why and everything. But today we have an early Christmas gift for myself that I bought for the EK. So let me pull out all the parts and show you guys what I ended up buying. Look at all this mess. All right. So this is an early Christmas gift to myself. What I ended up buying was a front lip, a rear lip, mud flaps, and a new spoiler, all for the EK hatch. Now there is a lot of things that I wanna do with the EK hatch. First off is like stuff with the painting. This was done by the previous driver. Just a little stuff like that. But yeah, I just wanted to get something to match the side skirts. That's why I got the front and rear lip. But I also love the mud flaps. So we're gonna be installing those today. So for the spoiler, if you guys are wondering what this are for the wing, let me show you. It is a two part spoiler and it is, it is the B West, the B West. It is the BYS style wing that goes on the back right there. So we're going to be installing that. But first thing that I want to get installed is the mud flaps just because it's the easiest. And yeah, we'll get started with that. So here goes the mud flaps, two fronts, two rears. All right, that's so clutch. So these holes are pre-drilled out and they fit into these three screws right here, which is pretty chill. So we can just go ahead and unscrew those, put the mud flaps right in. For the fronts at least, I don't know about the rears, but for the fronts, that's pretty chill. Have to go inside, turn the steering wheel. Probably could turn the wheel the other way, but <laughs> oh well, this will work. So it's pretty self-explanatory. All you do is unbolt the three bolts, bolt them back in with the mud flaps, and you're good to go. So I got the fronts on. I am waiting to do the rears because I want to put the rear lip on to see how the mud flaps will fit with the rear lip. But I am taking the front bumper off for the front lip. Super easy. It's only, so far I only took out four bolts and it's already loose. So that's always a good sign. So it's just one right there, two at the bottom, and then one on the side. And then I believe that there's gonna be some when you lift the hood up. Yes, some clamps when you lift the hood up right here. And then they should be able to pop out. And that'll be it, super easy to take the bumper off. Well, got the front bumper off. There's a big ass spider that fell right there, but I killed it. But I got the front bumper off. This is literally the easiest bumper I've ever had to take off. It was only four bolts and plastic clamps. So, dang, this bumper is scraped up on the bottom. But I put the lip on just to see where to mock up and where I have to drill the holes. So they provide like pre-drilled holes right here. I just gotta drill them to the bumper. It's gonna be six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill those out. I also have double-sided tape that I bought, this 3M from Home Depot that I have upstairs. But man, I really gotta clean this thing. There's so many spider webs, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> okay, so the way that I did it was I put two self-tapping screws right there in the middle, just so I can see how it test fits on the side. I didn't want to drill out different holes for each side, so I just did two in the middle, make sure it's on equal length on both sides, make sure it's attaching, and then we'll be able to drill it. Is it the best fitment? No. Does it fit? Yes, it is on both sides and I'm gonna push it down a little bit, but right now the way it's looking, it is fitting. I'm gonna drill more holes right here, drill on the sides just to secure it down more. And then I do have double-sided tape. So I will be taking a lip off and then putting it back together. So yeah, get back to you guys. All 
right, so I got the front bumper in, got the screws in, and I got the double-sided tape on it. And yeah, let's flip it around, see how it looks. Wow, that looks pretty good. Fim is actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. As you can see, it is a little over the bumper right here, but that's fine. But yeah, it definitely makes the bumper look way more aggressive. So yeah, let's go ahead and put this bad boy back on. Ooh, yes. Love the way the lip sits on the bumper. It makes the bumper look way better. But yeah. All right. I didn't bow everything down yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and bow everything down, then we're gonna move to the back side of the car. Almost forgot one thing to complete the front was my Colba hood bra that I also got. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that on. So pretty much with the hood bra, you, they're gonna have these things hanging off. Basically these, you could say like clamps, I guess. You basically put them in these holes and you tie them and then you cut off the excess. So I'm I went ahead and tied this one and that one on the side. So I just gotta cut off the excess. Then I have this one in the middle. God dang, this hood's so dirty. <laughs> then I gotta cut off the excess right here after I tighten it, as well as this one. And then after that, it should be all ready to go. Super easy, super self-explanatory. Got the hood bra installed, as well as the front lip. I don't know if it's me, but it looks kind of crooked. I, gotta, I think I have to fix that, but yeah. But it's starting to look really aggressive in the front. I really like it. Really feel like the hood bra on the lip really fits the Civic. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the back. Really love how the lip matches the side skirts too. What's up, baby? <laughs> Rear bumper off. I love how Honda makes it super easy to take these off. When I had the Z, oh my God, it was so much work just to take the bumpers off. Two screws, actually four screws, and then you have the plastic clamps. Of course, that's it. Just like the front bumper, actually. So let's get to cleaning, prepping, drilling, all that stuffing. So I actually got kicked out of my garage, but it's so fine. It's so fine, what? So I actually got kicked out of my garage because my dance mates wanted to make choreography because one of the people on the team is teaching today. So it's fine. But let me show you guys the progress of the car. I have the hood bra, the front lip, and the rear lip installed, as well as the front mud flaps. I still have to install the rear mud flaps and the rear wing, but it's starting to look so much better, uh, so much more like my car rather than something that I just bought in daily drive. So let me show you guys so far what it looks like. So we got the front lip, the hood bra. I try to fit it as best as I can. It is pretty good fitment, but I think I put it on wrong, but it looks pretty good. Then we got the front mud flaps, the side skirts. Then we got the rear lip installed. I really like how the rear lip came with the same color as the car. So it really matches. So once I get everything painted, this is gonna look super, super dope. Now I just gotta get the rear mud flaps installed and then put the rear wing on and it will be set. Okay, so after testing the rear mud flaps, I am gonna have to wait on it because I do not have a Dremel or anything to cut the mud flap. Um, it is hitting the rear lip, which I knew was gonna happen, but um, it's not too far off. I can still manage to fit it if I do some cutting and stuff like that. So I will need to wait on the mud flaps, um, but yeah. Okay guys, so I wasn't able to get the rear spoiler on because the bolts that they gave me were too short. The threads were correct, but the bolts were too short. Um, they didn't reach from the hole into the spoiler and they didn't um, connect the top of the spoiler to the bottom of the spoiler just because they were too short. Uh, so I have to go ahead and get different bolts um, with the same thread, but that are a little longer. So the only things that didn't go on today were the spoiler and the rear mud flaps. I need a Dremel or something to cut the rear flaps for it to go over the lip. And I need longer bolts for the spoiler to fit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm really digging the front lip and the hood bra. It really looks like a, a Civic, you know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about what the front lip is looking like, the hood bra. I really think that it matches the side of the car, especially with the front mud flaps and the, especially the side skirts. Got to get these painted, get everything to match. Let me know what you guys think about the rear lip as well. I think everything looks pretty, pretty aggressive with everything on. So I'm really liking the look right now. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So that is going to do it for this video. In the next video, I will most likely be installing the spoiler and the rear mud flaps if I get a Dremel in time, but most likely the rear spoiler, just because I know 
Uh, the spoiler is like a unique one, kind of has like a flare upward. So yeah, we'll be doing that in the next episode. But rather than that, see you guys later. PPA view out. Peace.